everyone i hope you all are doing good you all are healthy and fit your studies are going in a smooth manner i am your educator nidhi dua and i teach you chemistry at this platform named gur mantra shiksha ka granth guys this is your chemistry syllabus for gate 2021 exam we have started section 1 atomic structure and in this section in this lecture i am going to explain you the next topic of our section 1 that is periodicity syllabus that we have covered till now are the these topics and in this lecture i am going to explain you about periodic table just an overview of a periodic table so without delay let's start so basically periodic table is also known as periodic table of elements it is a tabular display of the chemical elements which are arranged by the increasing atomic number electronic configuration and recurring chemical properties this structure of table shows periodic trends so basically we are going to study about the long form of periodic table This long form of periodic table was given by Rang and Werner. This periodic table has eighteen groups and seven periods. So basically, the group is a column of elements in the periodic table, as there are eighteen groups in a periodic table. The horizontal rows of periodic table is called periods, and there are seven periods in the periodic table. Guys, this is our long form of periodic table having eighteen groups and seven periods. So basically, as you can see, different elements are colored with different colors. So basically. the logic behind to color these elements with different colors are to differentiate all the elements from each other so as you can see group 1 has green color and this hydrogen has a separate red color this hydrogen has a separate red color because the position of hydrogen is not fixed it is not stable so basically in group 1 we include lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium and as you can see in group 2 beryllium and magnesium are being colored with gray color but rest all the elements are colored with light shade green color so basically reason being this gray color is beryllium beryllium and magnesium are not considered as a group 2 element but if you have given in the question only beryllium then you will go with beryllium basically group 1 elements are known as alkali metals and group 2 elements are known as alkaline earth metals except beryllium and this these collectively make s block element so s group 1 and group 2 are known as s block elements this rightmost corner of periodic table has group number 13 to 18 this group number 13 to 18 is known as p block elements and this p block elements has different different elements for example as you can see group number 13 is Group number thirteen's first element is colored with brown color, while group number fourteen's second element and third elements are colored with brown color, and so on. This brown color shows a diagonal relationship between group number thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. This diagonal relationship shows that these elements are metalloids. Metalloids means the ele these elements have the properties of both metals and non metals this red color elements these red color element shows that these are the non metals that is carbon nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur and selenium this light shaded orangish color elements that is of group number 17 are known as halogens halogen means salt forming elements 
and group number 18 purple colored elements are known as noble gases we can also say this group 18 as zero group because these noble gases are inert in nature they do not react with any other element and this is the last group of periodic table so basically you have studied about first group and second group together first group and second group make s block elements at the rightmost corner of the periodic table group number 13 to 18 makes p, p block elements while at the center of this periodic table in the middle of this periodic table d block elements are present which are known as transition elements as you can see these yellowish color elements are known as transition elements and this separated table of elements are known as f block elements which are also known as inner transition elements i hope now you are cleared about the periodic table a general overview of a periodic table the next point is element of a group have similar properties due to similar configuration of valence shell this is very important because it is written that groups have similar properties similar groups have similar properties due to the similar configuration of valence shell means if you are studying group 18 which means the elements of all the all the elements of group 18 has similar pro properties due to the similar configuration next is but there comes an exception in group number 5th, 6th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 18th. All elements do not have similar configuration. This could be happened due to the half, fill, half filled configuration or full filled configuration. As you know, electron can jump from a subshell to another subshell to gain stability. Next is, as you can see in this diagram, this is talking about periods and the particular subshell and elements and number of elements. There is one thing important that is the number of periods have how many number of elements. For example, period number 1 has two elements that's, that are hydrogen and helium and their subshell is 1s where the electron is going to be filled. Second period has 8 elements. 3rd period has 8 elements, 4th period has 18 elements, 5th period has 18 elements, 6th period has 32 and 7th period has 28 elements and you can see the subshell here. Now this slide and the next slide this one both are the most important slides of this lecture because you have to learn the both the slides. So basically we are talking about the all the elements means elements what elements shows what property what element has its own characteristics. So basically number one liquid metals in periodic table. What, what are the metals who are liquid in the periodic table? So liquid metals in periodic table are Cs, Fr, Hg, Ga and UUV. You have to learn all these points. Cesium, Francium, Mercury, Gallium and UUB are the liquid metals in periodic table. While liquid non-metal in periodic table is bromine. Gaseous element in periodic table are 11. Total number of gaseous elements are 11. That are hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine, chlorine and 6 noble gases that is Helium, Neon, Argon, Krypton, Xenon and Redon. Fourth point is Metalloids. So basically Metalloids are B, S, I, G, E, A, S, S, B, T, E, P, O and A, T. Next one is Amphoteric Elements. Amphoteric Elements are B, E, A, L, Z, N, S, N, P, B and S, B. Coinage Metals are three that are Cu, Ag and Au. 
नोबल मेटल्स आर ए यू पी टी एंड ए जी वॉलेटाइल मेटल्स आर जेड एन सी डी एच जी एंड यू यू बी जेड एन सी डी एच जी एंड यू यू बी आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज द डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स यू हैव टू लर्न दिस दैट वॉलेटाइल मेटल्स जेड एन सी डी एच जी एंड यू यू बी आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज द डी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स और ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स आर दूज एलिमेंट्स विच हैज the atomic number more than 82 plus tc and pm these both are the radioactive element and the elements which has their atomic number more than 82 transuranic elements are the man made elements with atomic number more than 92 now this point 11th point is very important because this question has been asked many times which element has the maximum density in periodic table so basically maximum density in periodic table is of ir iridium because iridium has a maximum density of 22.65 g per cm3 while osmium has the density of 22.57 g per cm3 although the difference of density is quite low but you have to learn this iridium has the maximum density of 22.65 g per cm3 now classification of elements according to their electronic configuration as we have learned that the periodic table is a tabular display of the chemical elements which are arranged by the atomic number and electronic configuration of the elements so basically s block elements has a general formula has a general formula to fill their electronic configuration which is as follows ns122 which means in the s sub shell one or two electron could be filled this totally depends on the atomic number of the s block element number 2 is p block element for p block elements the formula is ns2 np126 For d block element, the formula is n minus one d two d one two ten, which means d sub shell could have one two ten electrons, or n s sub shell has one or two, where n represents the principal quantum number. As you know, principal for filling the electronic configuration, you have to learn that series of half bow principle. And f block element has a formula of n minus two f one two fourteen n minus one zero or one. ns2 now there comes a exception in d block elements and f block elements where this formula has been changed in d block element the exception is for pd palladium where the formula becomes n minus 1 d1 to 10 ns0 or 2 as you can see in deep the general formula of d block element is ns1 or 2 but in case of palladium this becomes ns0 or 2 for f block elements the exception is for thorium th and the formula becomes n minus 2 f1 to 14 n minus 1 0 22 or ns2 now s block element and p block elements together known as normal representing elements i repeat s block element and p block elements are together known as normal representing elements except noble gases noble gases the 18th group inert gases are known as zeroth group d block elements are also known as transition element as i have already told you except zn cd hg and uub all the elements of d block element are known as transition elements f block elements are known as inner transition elements now this is very important that before discover this before the discovery of long form of periodic table many scientists came and gave their separate separate tables to classify the elements one of them was modern periodic table and this modern periodic table law was the physical and chemical properties of element are periodic function of their atomic number and first time in this modern periodic table noble gases were discovered and this 
this discovery was done by Ramey and also Ramey was the co-founder of Pjordan periodic table. I hope guys you guys are now cleared about the a general overview of periodic table. Now there is a practice question. The both the practice question are based on memory. They do not this these practice question do not cover any numerical problem. If you have learned the the previous both slides then you are you can easily solve this question so basically number one question is which of the following is a set of novel metals so you have to choose a right option which contains a novel metal so please take your time and do that question Okay guys, so the answer should be AU, PT and AG. So the answer would be option number C. As you can see the answer is C. This totally depends on the memory and this question was totally based on memory. Next question is which element has maximum density in periodic table? Please pause your video here and solve it. Okay guys, so the answer should be IR, Iridium, because as you know, Osmium has and Iridium both has a density equal to them, but Iridium has a density of 22.65 gram per centimeter cube, while Osmium has a density of 22.57 gram per centimeter cube. So the answer should be Iridium because its density is little more than osmium so the answer should be iridium i hope you are now cleared about a general overview of periodic table in case you are new here you can subscribe our channel you can like our channel or you can share our channel named guru mantra siksha ka granth you can also join our telegram channel for more new updates about upcoming exams and you can get the free notes at our channel Guru Mantra. You can also join our Facebook page Guru Mantra Siksha Ka Granth or you for further queries you can mail us on Taneja Neha official at the rate gmail.com and you can also contact us on the given number. Thank you so much guys. I hope you like the video.